For 2019, Bambox has decided to go undercover, disguising itself as an everyday cardboard box. But I assure you, the contents inside are just as good as they always have been. This is the BAM box for, I believe, December 2018, the very last BAM box. And though I can't quite pinpoint whether this is the BAM box original or the BAM box BAM horror box, the extra spicy edition, we will certainly know soon enough when we get this opened up. Again, I think BAM box is likely restructuring the way that they're doing their subscription boxes at the very least. Maybe they're designing or maybe they're just waiting for a new supply of their BAM boxes to come in. That's the only thought that I perhaps have. But we're going to open this up and see what we got inside. Let me refresh anybody out there that maybe is not familiar with Bambox. Every single month, Bambox, whether it be the original, I know I'm pointing my knife, I really shouldn't be doing that, or the BAM Horror Box delivers movie replicas, props, and certain, uh, certainly autographs as well. That's one of the big big selling points for BAM Box is their, is their autographs. So that being said, I'm going to grab Old Red and I'm going to cut the box tape on the front. Is it supposed to go, maybe it's supposed to go the, uh, the other way here. There we go, cut the tape on either side and we'll open it up this way. Oh, for starters, a nice little greeting here. We have the Patrick Bateman from American Psycho, his business card from Pierce and Pierce Mergers and Acquisitions. Oh, that is a fantastic little replica. Just goes to show, even if you give a replica in something like cardstock here, which is a very high-end cardstock, we of course remember the whole scene, um, that is a really neat looking replica. And I like to put always stuff like this. Maybe I could put this in, actually into a frame, put it up on my wall. Very cool. It is a lot thicker, too, than a regular card. You certainly could not have a whole stack of these handing out to people. I think intended intentionally so, they've made it a little bit thicker than what it really should be. That is a neat-looking replica. And again, it's only just cardboard. It's just like cardstock. But that's, uh, that's pretty cool. It's neat to have. One of my favorite movies. One of my favorite Christian Bale movies, actually, as well. I also quite like Reign of Fire. I don't know a lot of people like Reign of Fire or not. Let me know. Do you like Reign of Fire? Or let me know what your favorite Christian Bale movie is. Uh, we also have... What is this? It is a keychain, I think. It doesn't say on the box what it is. It does say BK15B... Uh, BK. I don't know what this is, though. I'm sure it's attached, well, obviously, literally, it's attached, and figuratively, it's attached to, to something. Somebody's going to be, like, quickly typing, oh, it's from this movie. I'm sure the card inside will also tell us as well. From my initial thoughts, it's a skull. Congratulations. This guy is a professional reviewer. It is a skull. It's a black skull, and it's got sharp fangs, perhaps vampire-related. I wonder if the little tag on the side is also relative to what specifically it is. Maybe it has this tag in whatever movie or television series that this came from. I'm going to put this to the side with a question mark. Not quite certain what it is. And we will push forward. First, removing the tissue paper because we won't need that. We've also got the BAM Horror Box, so this is the BAM Horror Box, which I guess, if you think about it, American Psycho technically could fall within that category of horror or thriller as well. On the front, we've got Krampus for the BAM Horror Limited Edition pin. This is an enamel pin, and on the back, it's Krampus designed by Dirty Girl Pinko. I'm not making it up. That's Dirty Girl Pinko. Uh, down below is also their website, www.themanbox.com. That's really easy. That's an easy-to-remember website. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, also included, we got a 1-Up card congratulating us. This is a 1-Up card telling us that we have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box, indicated here in blue. wonder what the upgraded item will be. Of course, like I had alluded to, we've got ourselves some autographs. The autographs here, oh, is the Tall Man. Boy, that is really neat. Kind of like a cartoon version of um, 
of the tall man. Somebody had posted, it's actually funny, I'm not going to get too sidetracked here with these little side stories, but somebody had posted on Twitter. Yes, you can also follow me on Twitter if you want. I think it's spot underscore review, if you guys are interested. It used to be review spot, then the Twitter thing got all messed up and I had to start it all over again. So if you want to follow me on Twitter and see all the stuff that I'm doing when I'm not reviewing, I believe it's re it's spot underscore review. There you go. But somebody had mentioned, uh, was it Michael Shanks? The gentleman who played Zod in Man of Steel. Of course, he's been in lots of other things as well. Is it Michael Shanks? I might be thinking of somebody else. But somebody had said he would be an excellent Phantasm tall man. And you know what? The more I think about it, the more I would agree with that idea. I think they're also both six foot four tall, lanky characters, and he can definitely pull off the face, I think, of uh, Tall Man. Just a, just a little thought, just a thought that I didn't actually make myself, but I'm willing to buy the ticket for it and get on the ride of, yes, that's, a good, that's certainly a good idea. Also inside, oh, what? What? We got ourselves an autograph of Heather Langlingcamp from Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, this is 35 years of nightmares. You can see her autograph is right up at the top there. That is so, so cool. Price of admission right there. On the back, this 8x10 photograph has been hand signed by Heather Lang Langenkamp. I always want to put an L in there. Langenkamp, who played Nancy in the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. It was signed during a private signing with Bambox and is guaranteed to be authentic. Now, if, I, if you want to consider for the 2019 make it your new year's resolutions that may be based solely on what you've seen everything right here subscribe to the band box i'm telling you you get some pretty cool collectibles inside here now okay so let's have a look at the things that we've got inside here we had ourselves the BAM box signing with Heather Langenkamp, Lancy, Nancy from the Nightmare on Elm Street films oh that would have been such a sweet autograph right there i'm happy with this one that is a nice autograph. I love the print that this was autographed onto. Although you probably would have a harder time making out where, unless she had done it with like a silver pen. This one here was the limited to 99. Ooh. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. We've been so excited to have Heather Langenkamp as part of the BAM family. Heather needs no introduction. We all fell in love with her playing opposite Robert Englund, Freddy Krueger in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. There's a special logo you will see at the bottom right corner being seen for the first time, commemorating Nightmare on Elm Street's 35th anniversary. We have three different photos you can get. Look out for the metallic version numbered out of 99. Sweet Jiminy Cricket. I would have loved that print. <sighs> also got ourselves the Bambox exclusive Krampus fan art pins. This was the regular release. This one here was the 250 release. And this one here was the 99 release. Then there was the Patrick Bateman replica business card from American Psycho. New card. What do you think? From the horror thriller American Psycho comes Patrick Bateman's business card from the iconic scene. Also down below was the Band Box exclusive Tall Man fan art collection, art print by artist Bianca Thompson. We're so excited to have artist Bianca Thompson for the first time in the BAM Horror Box. Bianca is also a sketch card artist for Marvel, DC, Cryptozoic, Upper Deck, and more. And last we, last, lastly, we've got the polyresin self-defense keychains. Whether you're fighting off Freddy, Michael, Pennywise, or any combination of antagonists, these indestructible polyresin sel de uh, designed self-defense keychains will sure bring your attacker to their knees. Multiple styles and colors. Is that what this is? I guess you could put your fingers in there and... Now, I always thought polyresin wouldn't be indestructible. I always thought you could, in theory, break polyresin. That could inflict some quite some serious damage. Although the trade-off, unfortunately, would be it would be such a huge keychain to have to put in your pocket. Could you imagine putting this in your pocket along with your wallet, all the other things that you have to carry around with you on a daily basis? Pretty cool, though. Might be a little harder to explain why you are wielding like a little stabby, stabby skeleton skull in your pocket. But needless to say, pretty cool nonetheless. 
This could easily be one of the best BAM boxes that we've opened in recent memory. I think the price again of admission is the Heather Langenkamp uh, autograph. I certainly love for the fact we also got ourselves the business card of Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. And we got some pretty cool other things as well, such as the Krampus pin. Let me know, guys, what you think was the best item inside the BAM Horror Box. This is BAM, by the way, for December 2018. A good way to end the year, if you ask me. Subscribing to The BAM Box is as easy as heading over to www.thebambox.com and you can also enter in the giveaway. There's a Hellraiser 1 to 1 scale pinhead bust wall mount. Head to the community page to enter the contest and that is at www.thebambox.com forward slash community. If you guys also haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button, you know the little subscribe button. Oh, you know where that is. It's right over here. Or maybe it's right over here. Or maybe in 2019, it will be somewhere up here. Either way, when you find it, if you haven't hit it already, make sure you do so because certainly more videos will be coming soon to this channel. We're going to do a whole ton of stuff. Got some surprises also in store for 2019. So hopefully you guys are all going to be staying tuned for those. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.